You approach a hooded figure. Deep violet robe masks their face completely. Fisherman, feed. The person appears to forget the rest of what they were about to say. Feed the mouth. The hooded figure reveals a scroll. They gesture to a picture shown at the top. It's a top pawn. Okay. Um, well, I just, uh, I was saying, whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I was sailing around and uh, just checking that I have gotten everything before we head into the final deal with the collector. And I came across this guy. I remembered I put this down because we haven't finished this guy. Um, so we are not fully ready to take on the collector yet, but that will be a thing that we do in this episode because I think this might be the last episode of Dredge because I think um, I just need to do him and there might be some other stuff that I have to do too um, But that's gonna be really quick um, uh, Where am I going? I'm going tomorrow um, that's gonna be really quick and once we've just cleared everything else like the scraps made sure that everything is in order We will head to the collector and give him his final voyage And I think that has something to do with the stone slabs over here. Let me show you look those over here I still haven't figured out what they do Because if I try to touch them, it just says like oh, nothing happened. So I think it's the collector that has to do it look Place your hand on the stone it doesn't respond to my touch, so I don't know what that's about. I think it's the collector that has to do something, but that is what we are going to figure out in this episode. Also, I took the portal back. You can see it here. This portal uh, goes to the Pale Reach, so if I travel to that, I will... Uh, I'll end up at the Pale Reach, but that's not where we're going today. We are trying to uh, just clear up the last pieces of scrap before we head in and do the uh, final quest with the collector. So without further ado, hello you and welcome back to Dredge. There we go, I caught the tarpon. And we also caught a new one for the, um, we caught this one, Gleaming Mullet for the encyclopedia. Because we're also trying to do that in uh, this episode. I don't think we'll fill out the entirety of the encyclopedia, but I am gonna try. What did we do? I just switched from... Oh. I, I'm getting one of these whale jumps on a photo someday, I swear to God. Uh, was it you guy over here? Yeah, I think it was. Oh, he. Um, what was I saying before the whale jumped in my face? Um, oh yeah, I don't think we're gonna get every fish for the encyclopedia. I think that may be something I'm just gonna do on my own, but I am looking to do that too. But for now, we are feeding this figure in purple. Hi there. Feed the mouth. Here you go. They hold the fish in front of their face, studying it with a tightening grip. After a few seconds, the fish collapses in on itself under the pressure. The figure looks through the gory mess and picks out the heart, placing it onto their tongue. Why are they eating fish hearts? What, caviar wasn't good enough? Sustain the mind. That's a horseshoe crap. Uh, and I got that in... Uh, crap. Oh, that's a rock crap. Horseshoe crap. Okay, that's also in Twisted Strand. Okay, well, easy enough. Pursuits. Wait. Look at this. Well, you can't see my cursor, but underneath package delivery, doesn't it look like there's room for another pursuit? I think I'm missing one, because I'm doing this one right now. Figure in purple. Uh, Pale Reach, it did say I did all the quests there, but it looks like there's a little opening underneath package delivery next to research assistant and figure in blue, where there's room for another pursuit. We might have to spend a little more time looking around, because I think we're missing one. But for now, I'm going back and I'm catching a horseshoe crab. Okay, I dropped a crab pot off in uh, Twisted Strand so we can catch the horseshoe crab for this guy. I think all the fish he wants is probably from Twisted Strand, so that's going to be easy enough. We're going to do that. 
And I want to set out and try to find where I have lost any pursuit. It wasn't this. This was a stone slab. This is the figure in uh, in uh, in um, in purple. This one should be something trying to kill me. This should be a rock slab. A rock slab trying to kill me. I don't remember if this one is a rock slab or trying to kill me or what it is. This is a rock slab. I'm pretty sure this is a rock slab. I can't remember what this is. If this is for the eel trying to kill me, rock slab and all of these. So it has to be either this one or or this one or maybe one of these two. So I'm going to check around because I'm fairly certain. Let me just show you again. I just showed you, so there's no reason to. Also, we almost read the Book of Astral Symbols. I'm looking forward to see what that's about. No, not map. Pursuit. Like, look. Doesn't it look like there's room for one more down here? I think I'm missing one. But I feel like I have checked all of the maps so far. Oh, I need to get my camera ready in case that uh, crab decides to jump. I'll be right back with your horseshoe shoe crab. Sorry that I missed you. I honestly feel like I have checked all of the map, which sounds impossible because it's the big wide ocean. And we haven't gone to the edge yet, too. We need to... We're gonna do that in this episode, too. Um, but I honestly feel like I checked everything. How could I have missed anything? It does not make sense. But I'm just gonna go through all of the uh, question marks one by one. And if that doesn't bring any results, um, then then I'm not sure. Then I don't know what to do. Because I don't... Listen. Hang on, let me just pause here for a moment. Listen. The thing is, I did it for the Goliath fish. Um, that's the only thing I've read up on. Or read a walkthrough on for this game. I don't like to read up on walkthroughs. Because it, it kind of takes away the experience of uh, figuring things out. Now, instead of playing the game, I'm just following a manual. And that's not fun. That's also why I say, like, feel free to give hints or useful tips in chat or uh, comments. But don't just outright give me the answer to something. Because that's the exact same thing. So, I don't like to read up and uh, try to just use the walkthrough to figure out what I'm missing. I want to go figure this out myself. But... If I study all of the um, the um, the question marks and markers I put down and it's none of those, I guess I have to. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Get out of here. What do you need? I don't need anything. I clicked the wrong button. So for now, I'm going to go to this question mark that I've put down over here. As far as I remember, it's just this uh, abandoned city. I don't think that has anything to do with anything, but I guess we'll check. And if it's nothing, then I guess we'll just cut out this entire segment. I hate being near the Kraken, it scares me. Um, so this may be edited down a bit because... Oh, that's the one trying to kill me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, right, right, you tried to kill me, yeah. Okay, so, so this marker is correct, that's a try to kill me. Exclamation marks trying to kill me. Question marks something I have to do. So look, there was something over here somewhere. That oh, it's just a rock slab. Yep, and I don't know what that does. Okay, well, I'll be right back once I've searched everything and tried to figure out what this is all about. There's nothing else here, right? What's this? Oh, it's a research thingy. I don't need that. Why do I... I swear to God. Okay, I'm gonna check that because I swear to God, I keep hearing a dog. Ow, I sailed into the thing. Even when I'm out at open seas, I hear a dog. I feel like... Wait, there's something here. We haven't checked that. Oh, there's the doggy. Hi, doggy. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at some small uh, silvery fish. Its technique is in a fish ineffective. Take it from me, dog. I have been a... I'm a proud fisherman. Um, disembark, continue sailing. Isn't those the same two things? Oh, disembark onto... Okay. You jump off the boat into thigh high water the dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you 
Okay, don't ever just pat a random stranger dog. Call for the dog, how? Uh, throw some fish towards the dog. Let it know that it can trust us. You throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. Whoops. Um, call for the dog? The dog wags its tail briefly, but it doesn't move. Slowly approach. You wait towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little... Uh, a little ways. It sits. Now I can do all of these again. Let's try to call for it again. You make soft, encouraging noises and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Hold some fish in my hand. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches you slowly but soon begins licking at them. Now we can pat it. Hopefully. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand and it seems to understand you're not a threat. There we go! We did it! You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Well, I don't want to just leave. I can't pet you all day. Okay, well, I guess we're just leaving. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. No, it's following me now. Oh. Can I have the dog forever? I want the dog. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. That's so cute when it does that. Uh, let it follow me. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is whacking so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. Yeah, because I don't. I think this dog is abandoned. Look, there's no people here. And it's all broken. When you get to the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board. <gasps> a stray dog! It's curled up asleep, opening an eye occasionally to watch you move around the boat. Oh, we got a dog! Can I have the dog forever? You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Ah, oh, I need to give it a home. I, I wanted to keep the dog for myself. Oh, I want a dog on my boat. Um, okay, we're just gonna check around. We have the, the, the boat over here, the researcher. Do I have anyone else in this area? I don't think so. And I don't think the abandoned hall is the... Um, is the, um, you know, permanent home for this one. <laughs> Hello, do you want a dog? Oh. What do you think of Stella Bassin? Crystalline water. Shame I can't take the boat to... I got a Ronald Carl. Mm. Uh, check the abandoned resort to the east. Yes, I have. It's kind of amazing how quickly in a few years the pontoons... That's just the way things go. Okay, you don't want a dog. What about the researcher? She's lonely. Maybe she wants a dog. Don't worry, Mr. Dog. I won't let the Kraken get you. Oh, we did uh, we did the, the thing. Well, what does that do? Uh, no, not the encyclopedia. Uh, astral symbols. Adds 4% to aberration cat's chance. Oh, that's actually decent for our encyclopedia. Okay, let's go to the... Um, to the research to see if they want something. And I don't care about the darkness and the, this thing here. There we go. Researcher! I found a dog. Do you want it? Oh! This dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh, gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. Aww. I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are you sure? I kind of want to keep the dog, but I mean, I'll just lose it because I get attacked, and yeah, you should take the dog. Oh. Yes, thank you. Oh, look how happy he is! Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to talk human language. It's a mutant. Kill it. And begins to retch. Its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits... A wet, a wet glob onto the floor. Something's glistening through the mus mucus. Um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. Yeah, I'm not gonna give it to you. You're just gonna be like, Oh, yes, I'll marry you. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. Oh, that was so sweet. Was that the thing with the, with, we needed to do with the... Oh, we did it! So that should be everything as soon as we deal with the figure in purple. I'm just gonna check... See if I can find a picture of, like, all pursuits and see if 
it looks like this. I'm not gonna read up on any of them. I'm just gonna see if I got all of the uh, quests by now. By now, if I could talk. Um, I haven't spoken to this guy yet. Should I talk to him? Hello? Do I need to... You just vanished. Okay, I think that's a ghost ship, so let's not talk to that. Um, I'm just gonna go back quickly and see if... Oh, the Northern Light! The Aurora Borealis. How beautiful. Uh, I'm just gonna go back quickly to the city to see... Uh, they don't want to see the Kraken. To see if there's anything else that I need. I don't care about being out in the dark and the fog anymore. I'm a professional fisherman. See, there's this thing. Can't do anything. Place your hand. Uh, does not respond. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a new ghost ship. Hi, can I board you? Do you want to be friends? Hello? Hi? Oh. That went away too. Okay, anything else? Nope, and I don't hear the dog anymore. So I, I figured that's why I heard the dog. Was because he was like, Hey, you're still missing a suit. Wait, what? The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Wait, this is new? A sudden chill rushes through the marrows of your bones, uh, uh, searching up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. The green glimmer of, a, of an aurora blooms in the night sky above the resort. A distant boom shakes the hatchet roofs and rouses streamers from their sleep. The waters withdraw, exposing the coral to the warm air. Confused creatures chitter and seek out their hiding places. Moments later, the water returns, crashing, seething, sweeping souls out to the sea. Wait, why are you all of a sudden talking to me? Is it because... is it... So the only thing that's different right now, let's try to logic this out. Um, it's either because it's 2 a.m. or because I'm full panic mode. One of those two. Well, I'm gonna go back and see if I can kill this one now that I'm in panic mode, since I apparently have powers. So the rock slabs have nothing to do with the collector. They are based on either time or... Panic? And I've been missing them. I've been ignoring them for so long. And then we just figure it out by coincidence. Well, that's lucky. Can I kill this thing now? I don't care. Piss off with you. You ain't gonna get me. I don't care anymore. Because now, see, this glooms in the same color. Can I do anything? Nope, still just trying to kill me. Okay, now I actually need to make it better. Okay, well, then I'm just gonna go and clear all the rock slabs, I guess. Since I now know how to do that. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna return. Uh, see if we caught some horseshoe crabs. And if we did, we'll do that quest. And on the way, I'll just clear all the rock slabs, I guess. What a coincidence. There's the horseshoe crab that I needed, then I might as well pick this up. And as you can tell, it's a little later in the day, it's gonna get dark soon. It's because I want to test the theory that this is all either 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. Or it is based on uh, panic. So I need to figure out, because there is a stone slab somewhere here, close. So, uh, will I make it back in time? I probably won't. Oh well. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, wait, I didn't want to be out on the open ocean for panic. Oh, well, we're here. Nothing I can do about it now. Um, so I'm gonna test out if my theory about the stone slab is correct. Sustain the mind. They show you another squirrel. This one shows a horseshoe crab. Here you go. Feed it in your face. The figure turns the crab over to expose its soft underbelly. They scoop out its innards with sharp fingernails, consuming them blindly. Oh, so now we're not stopping at the height? Okay. Consume the sky. Final scroll. Barrel eye. And barrel eye is also here, right? Uh, twisted strand. Please tell me that's also here. That's not it. Oh, that's because I'm only checking uh, uh, crabs. Uh, twisted strand. Grey mullet. Top on certain fish. Gah. Long finial. Catfish. Horseshoe. Armor. What the... Wait, is this not here? Nope, it's not. Okay, where do I... F what do, was it you wanted? A barrel eye. Okay, uh... uh encyclopedia. 
Well, where the f it's not in the marrows, I know that much. It's just little fat fish. Not the stone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's a black sea bass. But it sort of looks like that. There it is. It is. No, it was Stella Bassin. Okay, so we need to go back to Stella Bassin. Okay, but for now, we are going back to the Twisted Strand. And I'm going to test out my theory. If I can make it back there before 2 p.m., then we can check if it's based on panic. And if it doesn't work, then it's based on... Where the fuck am I going? It is based on time. It is either time or panic. That's the only things that changed for me when that stone slab all of a sudden decided to talk to me. Am I full panic yet? No, see, this one does... Okay, so it might be 2 p.m. Because right now this doesn't seem to work. But am I full panic? I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm full panic yet. I kind of want to see if it's panic or if it's, um, fuck, where are you? I need you. I want to, there we are. I want to see if it's uh, panic or it's uh, based on, ah. Can I, can I become panic? It's either panic or 2 a.m. It's one of the two. I need to figure out what it is. Do you work now? No, you don't. Could be the... It's panic. Okay, so I need to be full panic mode. Then I can talk to the rocks. That's... I never say that out of context. You're gonna be taken to a psychiatrist. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. I didn't mean to just leave. I want to talk to the stone. A sudden chill, a deep vision. A parasite burrows into a large snake-like carcass. It feeds, growing fat and multiplying. Tendrils sprout from the head of the body and sense the water around it. The host corpse shudders reluctantly with a cry that resounds through the forest. It rises once again. So... That seems to... to was that the mind suckers? Carcass of a snake? I don't know. Don't know, but it seems like those stones are mostly like, um... Uh, what are they? Exposition, lore. So... I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna go around and uh, read all of them, at least on episode. I think I'll clear them, but on my own time, because it's not gonna make for the most exciting uh, content. Now you know, if you want to read the stone slabs, you don't just place your hands on them. You need to uh, be full panic mode, apparently. And then you can talk to them. And if you go around to, uh, you know, like here and here and there and all of these ones, Okay, there aren't actually that many left. But if you do that, you can uh, talk to the stones. And they will give you some exposition, some lore about the place. But for now, I need to head to Stella Basin. And catch myself a barrel eye. There we go, now I got a weird one. Blub, blub. And there we go. Okay, is there any stone slabs near I could go to? I mean, there is one right here. You know what, screw it. Here we go. I don't care. Hi there, Mr. Other Boat. I'm coming for your face. Uh, you better run. There's the portal of eternal doom, but it's fine. Do, 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 do. Gonna go talk to some rocks. I need to hurry, otherwise it's gonna go away before... I'm full of panic mode now. Oh, now the, the, you know, the, um... What, what was the stingray horror is gonna come for me? No, don't lose the panic now! No! No, this is the collector. I think the stone... Oh, uh, is that it? Stone slabs? Yes, there you are. Eh? Something slithers into your cargo hold. Infected? Uh, goodbye. Can't have that. Stone trembles, place the stone, a sudden chill, a deep vision. Dark rocks erupt from the earth, piercing through buildings and trees. We now confirm that it is panic-based and not time-based. Through sand and crashing waves, through the basalt pillars of the islands, the newborn structures crackle with an unknown energy, crimson lightning arching between them. The earth shifts once more and the stones lie still. I don't think this is giving me clues to some sort of puzzle. I think it is just exposition. But now at least we can uh, clear this one. There we go. But you know what? 
I ain't scared. I'm going up here and talking to this rock too. Think I'm scared, Mr. Ocean? Don't lose the panic. I know that the sun is rising. Don't lose the panic. Don't lose the panic. Please stay panic. There's every reason to panic. So don't, don't not panic. Should be. Wait. Oh, I sailed the wrong way. God, I'm a doofus. Hi. Do 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 do. I'm going to talk to some rocks, and everything is fine. I don't care about panic. Hi, Bert. Did I need to? Oh, hang on. There we go. Wait, those are bad birds. Whoa! Sheesh! Firefly squid lost to the birds. Um, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. I regret everything. Bell, I lost to the birds. Oh, fucky fuck. What do I, I... I'm gonna lose all the freaking things. I need to feed the battle eyes to the guy. Hello. A sudden chill rushes through the vision. A ship tossed by waves in the night. Fog unfolds like a blanket from the deep, from the deck. Spilling across the ocean and crashing against the land. A distant lighthouse flickers a signal. It's either the one at Greater Marrows or the one at uh, Devil's Spine. Okay, that takes care of this one. So that's the guy I need to feed. I'm gonna check these things. I think this one is kill me, the eel, and I just didn't take the marker away, and stone slab. And then I got a stone slab there, a stone slab there, but we can take the portal to get to them. That'll put me in full panic mode, just like I am right now. Uh, that's why I'm... go final fish about to be delivered that should be all of the pursuits cleared consume the sky barrel eye the figure begins to consume the fish head first gnashing teeth searching for the heart of the thing when the fish is halfway gone they stop and throw it aside they take a book from inside the rope and give it to you. Complete all side quests one way or another. Achievement unlocked. Sky will fall. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. So, all of them has fallen into a deep sleep, except for one of them. Pushing the limits, Indians. Oh, it'll probably make me faster. Also, I don't know if this, um, this snow thing makes me slower. But I am gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down south now and I'm gonna use the uh, collector so you can see what that portal does. I need to remember to do this. And then we'll clear the stone slabs down there. And then I'm gonna take off this uh, thing at the uh, front. And it is actually a good thing that I got a book now because I need to sleep a lot to uh, get to the point of where, uh, where um, I can get the insanity or panic, I should say, to, um, to get to the... Uh, to read the stones. God, I'm all over the place right now. But I should be full panic once I take the um, the portal. So we can actually clear those two rather fast. Do I have anything on the boat that I don't want to lose? I mean, other than the obvious stuff. Nah, screw it. We'll take the chance. Okay, now you get to see how the portal works. Looks. Whoop. And then we're going home. To travel. We explode. We get collected. And now we are back at... Uh, the pale reach. So what we're gonna do? We're not gonna go in here. What we're gonna do now is that we are almost in full panic mode. So we are just gonna go around. We're gonna find the stone slabs. We're gonna talk to them, which is totally normal for a fisherman. And then we will get the uh, icebreaker taken off. And there shouldn't be too many left stone slabs left once I have done these ones. I might just just go and do those just so I have cleared the map and once i've done that we can do the collector but for now inspect place your hand on the stone a sudden chill darkness the deep then sparks of light as tooth and spine meet horn and nail two primeval forces clashing at the bottom of the world after an age a victor triumphs sundering the other into impossibly large remnants that ascend to the surface slowly to be claimed by the sky but the broken body holds power still, 
Threads of crimson essence reach out through the water, stretching to unite the creature once more. As the remnant remains break the surface, ice begins to form. So was this ice formed because of a battle between two primordial forces? Huh. Um... Do I go all the way around now? Uh... Oh god. No, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly sleep and then set out at night time so I don't have to go all the way over there in full panic mode. Because I don't want to lose any of the shit I have on my boat. And maybe, maybe, I'm just gonna put my, um, my crap pot in storage. So if something goes awry, at least I don't lose that. There. Now I only, I can lose this, but who gives a fuck? Now I only have stuff that is directly attached to the boat, and I don't think I can lose that, right? Here we go. This is the one that tries to kill me, right? Nope, it isn't. Wait, did I? No, okay. So the other one is up here. I'm just gonna check it. Colossal squid. Catch all known species of fish in the pale reach. Achievement unlocked. Wait, did we clear the freaking encyclopedia? No, we didn't, because I don't have the aberration of that. Okay, I guess I have a colossal squid now. That is pretty big. What is this? Feral is... Okay. Okay, I'm just going to check that I did indeed mark this correctly. And while we get the panic up. Where is this thing? Is it this one? Hi, do you want to kill me? Yes, you do. I'm just going to go away. So that is marked correctly. Come on, give me the panic. I'm looking for some panic here. I'm totally panicking. Do do do. Gonna get some panic. Where's the fuck when I need it? Give me the panic. Give it to me now so I can read what's going on in the pale reads. I didn't mean to take a photo, but I did. Do 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 do. Oh, there's some fuck. Maybe I should sail into that. Panic, panic, panic mode. Panic, panic, panic mode. Give me the ability to talk to stones. There you go. I'm seeing eyes everywhere. Ah, the stone trembles, blah, blah, blah. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones. Is that greater marrow or little marrow? Searching up your arm, your neck, a deep vision. Intruders, they invade on tiny wooden vessels. That's probably a boat. Shouting and smashing, they cut and slice with angled metal raking across the skin of ice. Their meager heart speed with avarice and pride, desires Trivially twisted into new shapes. Shapes that might end and restore. Shapes to replace what was lost down in the dark. There you go. And us? Uh, hang on. We have completed Pale Reads. As far as I know, since we don't have any guns or cannons or anything, and running into them doesn't do anything, um, I can't do anything about the attacking crabs, the mimic uh, creatures. So I think they're just there to maybe damage your boat. Just like the serpent, you can't do anything about that. You just have to avoid it. So I think these are just like a mimic where they'll be like, oh, come grab some treasure. And then when you do, it kills you. And that whole spiel. So what we're going to do now is we're sailing all the way back. And, and I don't know if I'm going to go around and do the uh, stone things first. I think I am because I don't want to risk losing the collector. Can I even? I probably can. Ah, you're getting a little close there. I was right up my ass. Oh, hi there, son. Oh, well, then I might as well, since we already are in full panic mode. Okay, back we go. Pluff. Ah! Wait, I'm gonna... Whoa! Excuse me? I was docking. That doesn't count. There we go. And I didn't lose anything, so that's good. And as far as I can tell, I try to read up on it. Um, apparently, the thing I lost, that uh, compass... No, not compass. The, that uh, six tent thing, that is just a sellable. So I didn't lose anything valuable. Well, it was valuable, but it's not like, oh, no, you lost that. Now you can't complete a quest. Okay, we're back here. Um, let me just quickly go and complete all of the stone talking before we pick up the collector. 
Because I don't want to do that with him on the boat, and I don't know if I'll be able to once his voyage is, is, is done. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As always, I say, take freaking breaks and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 shut up. Um, because I don't want to risk losing the collector, like dropping him overboard because, like, we got attacked by something. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly go to the rock slabs, get panicked and all of that. I might put it in the episode when I read the stuff, but I'm not gonna bother you and waste your time with me getting there. So, I'll just do all of that quickly. There it is. Now I just need some panic here. Um, I had the icebreaker removed, as you can see. I don't know if it slows me down. Um, I couldn't tell. Um, but I had it removed because we don't have any use for it anymore. And also the uh, the marker I had down in there, that was indeed just for the eel because it didn't belong to anything. So I removed that. So the only thing we need to do here at the Gale Cliff is to talk to the stone. And it's right there. I just need the panic. Do, do, do. Give me all the panic. We're doing just fine. We're doing okay. Everything is fine. I'm doing circles in the water. Look how fast I am. It feels like I'm faster, so... Maybe the icebreaker slows you down? I don't know. I'm catching fish. I know that much. Ah! Is that full panic mode? Oh, there's some, some bad fuck out here somewhere. I can, I can go grab that. Oh! No, that, you're not the bad fuck. I need the, the, the colory one, so I can really be panicky. I don't want to be too far away when I get all panic mode. Are you panic mode? You're not panic mode. Come on! Give me panic mode so I can read you. The people want to... There we go! The people want to know what you say. There we are. The stone trembles from within with a sudden deep vision. A heart of stone wrapped in a twisting tail. A serpentine body uncoils teeth rasping at its earthen shell. Lodja now bursting through the cliffs, sending rocks tumbling into the water. An eye opens to this new world. That's about the sea serpent in here. Because he makes the, the the whole thing falls apart and he only has one eye and, you know, all of that shebang. Okay, we did that. Next up, wanna, we have more rock slabs, so I'll be right back. Okay, here goes. We only have the rock slabs of sp uh, the devil's spine left. I'm gonna see if I can do all of them in one go, even though I have these little fuckers swimming around, probably waiting to chomp down my boat and call mother. But I won't let them. We are gonna complete this now. Um, where is it? See, these, these dang thingies. There it is, there's one of them. Right? You're not a, yeah, you're not a kill me thing. So now we just need the panic. And I forgot, once we have done all the rock slabs, I'll try to sail to the end of the world. See what happens. I have a feeling there's probably some big monster or something that is going to be like, nope, don't come this way. I'm catching a lot of fish, though. Do do do. Now I just sail around in circles, waiting for panic to be full blown. And once it is, we can finish. Oh hi! I'm coming. Do you need help? Do you need me to guide you where to go? Goodbye. Let's get you away. Or maybe I caught you in my net. One of the two. Am I panicked now? Well, I am panicking, but not enough to talk to rocks. Apparently, to talk to rocks, you need an unstable mind. Who would have known? Do, do, do. It should be there soon. Come on. There we go. Now we can finish this. Stone trembles with the deep vision. Blackness. A crimson rift opens in the void. Dreadful silhouettes drift through in a procession of teeth and tentacles. I've seen quite a few hentais like that. I don't know which one this refers to. After the last grote grotesque figure emerges, a membrane spreads over the fissure. A distant groan emanates from the space beyond. Okay, that's you. I can take you away. Map. To you too. Okay, well, there's only these two over here. And then we've read all the rocks. God, we're doing good. Uh, this should be... Ah, oh, god dang it. Should be one here somewhere. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is it you that I noted down? Yeah, I think this one is not a rock slab. I think this is the lighthouse. Yes, it is. So we cleared that. 
No, there's just this over here. There you are! Here we are, the final one! Okay. Finishing. Trembles vision. A leviathan raises its vast gray head, stretching up, up until it sits level with a bright flame cradled atop of the ancient lighthouse. It watches the fire for a while, tilting its head and calling softly to it with a guttural sound. Appearing satisfied, the beast slinks down into the water, gliding back to the depths. And thus... Look at this. Look at this. I have to zoom a little bit. All of the... Uh, um, exclamation marks. Those are things trying to kill me. There is nothing else left on the map to do. Look at this. Still haven't read the book somehow. That must be a very long book. There is still some encyclopedia stuff to do. I'm gonna do that on my own. There's no reason for me to sit here and spend hours making content of just me trying to catch a single fish. That won't be interesting for you. Uh, the Pale Reach, there are only these five quests. We've done all of that. Core pursuits, we have done all of that. The only thing we need is to take the collector on one last journey. So let me sail to the end of the world, see if I plop off. And then we will get to the end game stuff. This should be enough to read the book. Hopefully. Hello? Book? How long is this freaking book? 84? Jesus, that must be a really long book. But, as stated, here we go. I'm aiming for this place. If I put down a marker, will it show up? Uh, there we go. And then I think I can do this to... F there we go. No, that's a snake mackerel. I think I could do this to... Rat tail. I don't know. Here we go. Trying to find the end of the world here. See what happens. Yeah, see, there we go. I can do this. Straight ahead. Let's see what happens if we sail to the end of the world. What are you? You're just that. I don't care. <laughs> Finding end of world. Maybe I die. But who really cares? I have a feeling it's gonna be a big creature that pops up. So you're like, no, I'm not even trying to go there. I hope it's not just an invisible wall. Are we there yet? Nope. Look how calming this is. Just the open sea. <laughs> oh, hi there, Mr. Whale. Are you here to follow me on my journey to the end of the world? Look how big it is. That has to be the biggest... I think that is bigger than the serpent. That has to be the biggest thing in the ocean, right? Nice to know that the biggest thing is friendly. No, we found that thing in the ice. That was pretty big. Um, but I don't think that that is part of the ocean because it didn't do anything. Am I here yet? Oh, here we go. End of the world. Oh, hi, Orcas. Are you here to orchestrate? <laughs> Did you get the pun? Now it starts raining. What the hell? I crossed the end of the world! Okay then, I guess nothing happens. Entering uncharted waters, turn back. Okay, there you go. It just gives you a message. That's what happens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have one last thing to do. And that is to sleep before we take Mr. Guy here on a, on a journey. But here goes. One final pursuit, one final win to piss me off. And one final voyage of my little uh, Ouroboros boat here. But first, sleep. And sell the fish. And then again, like, to get all of the fish in the encyclopedia, I'm just gonna do that in my own time. It's not interesting for content. But the collector said that I knew what we were going to do. I have no idea what he wants. I have an idea that he's looking for his wife and he's using that demonic book to... Ah! Oh, to get that and that's not good. 
I knew we couldn't trust him, but for some reason we did. Uh, what was it I just read? Pushing engines provide 7.5% more movement speed than listed. Uh, and I can't arrange the engines in any other way, right? Cargo. Nope. Nope, I can't. So, now I'm even faster? That should be all. I have all upgrades in every book, as far as I know, unless there are hidden pursuits, hidden quests that I can get books from. I don't know. Here we go. Final voyage. What is it? I'm ready. Uh, tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here that I'm holding. With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isle. It's quite a chore. Ooh, notice that it says Grey. The stone we talked to in Devil's Spine said that the Leviathan was Grey. Don't play dumb, you know which book I mean. Your hypocrisy is wearing. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands. Where did you get it? Did we already ask all... I think we already asked all of this. Give me the book. The words hang in the space between. The book is ours. Forget it. You know what's good? Let's take him on the journey. One final voyage. Warning, you are entering the fight. See, I knew. I knew we had to clear everything else in the game before doing this. You are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Yes. One more time, your progress will not be saved. Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. Yeah, he wants to go out in fog. With luck, the sea will remain unaware of our intentions. Ah, it's getting spooky. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters. Not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. What does it mean to tarry? I think that means turn on the lights and stuff. The collector is aboard your vessel. We are now heading out to open seas in the midst of the evil fog. We're heading west of Greater Maros. Uh, that's probably... Oh, the light is back. That's probably where we're going. Yep, here it is. Uh, and we must not tarry, so I am just gonna make sure... I'm gonna pull up my net and make sure that we cannot mistakenly turn on the lights. Let's do this. I, I have a feeling he's just trying to get back his wife. And he's using this demon book that he found in the seas to do it. Not realizing or intentionally sacrificing everything else to get her back. Here we go. I should get a thumbnail. Hang on. Hang on. A little further. And... Thumbnail. Thank you. Here we go. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. I knew it. I said he's bringing back his wife. That's why the journals and the notes talked about that. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Binds them to this world once more, he throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the star starry heavens, he slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. Is he gonna sacrifice the entire world for his wife? He throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Find a use for the rel relics. Achievement unlocked. Uh oh. Oh 
no. Yeah, we summoned Cthulhu. I hope you enjoy your freaking wife. She has to be like a monster in bed in order for you to be okay with summoning Cthulhu. And there you have it! That is the end of Dredge. We have now brought back his wife and also brought upon, upon the end of the world thanks to Cthulhu. Yeah, there you go. Great Amaro is in ruins. What an amazing game. Wow. I completely understand why this won like best indie games last year. That was amazing. The premise was so simple. It was basically just like go out and catch fish. But the pursuits and like the storytelling and stuff like that made it really intriguing. The open seas, the calm waters and the sound, uh, the soundtrack, I should say, so enchanting. That was some of the best music I have heard in game for a long, long time, if not for all time. Really amazing. I love the art style. Um, I did notice at one point I, I thought to myself the only thing that I would have changed if I could change anything I would have made the uh, merchant not just the same merchant that just floats around with you but it would have been cool if it was like uh, when you got to Stella Basin it was like this uh, Hawaiian shirt guy and then you got to Volcanic and or the, the Devil's Spine and it was it was a merchant that was akin to that area, but that's that's just nitpicking now, and that's just a personal thing. Um, overall, and in general, and in detail, and everything, this game was amazing. I loved everything about it, and I think the pacing was really good. Really, really great game. One of the best I have played in a long, long time. I know that not all episodes were equally interesting. I know that some of them I was um, I was going around a lot and not really making any progress because I was either so confused or I had to go to so many places. I apologize for that, but overall, I, I'm really proud of this series and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed the game. But this leaves open slots for new games. I haven't really decided what that will be yet, but um, I guess you'll just have to wait and see what I decide upon. For now, thank you so, so much for watching and really thank you for the support. I have seen some great growth on the channel recently um, and I just want you all to know that this means a lot to me. It, it really do and I see each and every one of you. Don't think that just because we're becoming more and more that you get lost in the crowd. I absolutely see each and every one of you, and I'm so thankful. And uh, I recommend that you give Dredge a try yourself. I didn't get all of the encyclopedia, I don't know if I can now, having sent the world into disarray. And I don't know if there was some hidden stuff that I didn't get. I feel like I gave it a good, vali valiant effort to, um, to, to get everything from this game. The game kind of enticed me to do so. Normally in games I'm just like, nah, I don't need to find secrets and hidden easter eggs and this and that. But with this game, I actually wanted to. So that's even more a compliment to the game. I really, really in enjoyed it and I really, really recommend it to you. But as I said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. All right. I am out.